What is a fast radio burst, first of all? Well, actually, just can I just put it into context as well? Six billion light years. Um, one light year is around nine trillion kilometres away. So that's just... Do the maths. You're talking trillions... I can't do the maths. It's a long of, way away. It's incredibly far away. But these, these bursts are basically um, very, very high energy. And the easiest thing to compare it to is our sun. And they admit the same amount of energy our sun would in 10,000 years in the space of less than a second. So it's an incredibly high burst of energy. We've detected around 17 now. This is the 17th one which has been detected. First seen in 2001, but not actually recorded until 2007. And they've really been a bit of a puzzle to scientists because you think we've only really been in the space age and being able to have all this technology for the last 50 or 60 years or so. Yeah. So it's something which has been a bit of a mystery, but by pinpointing where in the, the universe they're coming from, it can help scientists to understand more about what they are and what causes them. Because people will think if it's unexplainable, it could be aliens trying to contact us. Well, it could, but let's not get too excited just yet. Well, to be fair, though, the universe is not only as strange as you can imagine, it's stranger than you can imagine. So we haven't got there in terms of what we know it is yet. It's more likely to be something which is called a neutron star, so which is a very, very dense star about the size of a city, such as London, but with a mass much, much bigger than our sun. So very, very dense. It could be two of those far, far away colliding, causing this very fast, very energetic burst. So we don't know quite what it is yet, but we're getting one step closer. But it just goes to show that we finally kind of got this eye on the universe mm. and we're starting to uncover more about what else is out there. Well, quite. I mean, this is not the first time scientists have been baffled by signals coming from space. The wow signal was first detected... didn't actually it... say wow, though. Well, let's have a listen. <laughs> it was first detected in the 70s. Let's have a listen to it now. This is what it sounds like. I can see what you mean. There's no, there's no wow there. It just sounds like static on a record player. So basically, it was a 73-second signal, which uh, was detected in August 1977. And it was interesting for scientists at the time, and it's still a bit of a mystery, because it was sent at the wavelength uh, that scientists at SETI, which is searching for aliens, expected a potential alien civilization to send a signal out at. So it was sent at 21 centimetres, the wavelength of light. So the reason it's called the wow signal is that the scientists at the time actually wrote wow on the piece of paper simple next to it. Yep, simple as that, and it stuck with that. And, you know, it has been dismissed. It might not be aliens. I mean, we don't know whether we are alone in the universe or not. At the moment, we're the only life we know for certain which exists, and we don't know whether there's any other intelligent life out there or not. But it's just exciting that we're actually starting to scratch the surface and be able to begin to look at answering those questions.